Hey there, YouTube. Welcome to my channel. My name is Alex Hubbard, and I am a senior systems administrator with over 15 years of experience in the IT field. Uh, today, we are talking about, this is a topic that I see uh, all the time over on Home Lab. I hear it from junior guys all the time. How do you deal with licensing uh, at home and in your home lab? Um, there are numerous ways to go about this. Uh, this video only covering the above the table uh, methods. Um, you can do your own research on the below the table methods. That's not what we're covering today. Uh, first off, there are multiple different flavors of Linux and Linux applications that you can use completely free in your home lab. Uh, these are open source. They don't require any licensing. Um, there are plenty of open source applications out there that will give you a similar effect to uh, commercial off-the-shelf software that you'd you know, likely be able to find in just about any small to medium business. Uh, probably the most sought after licensing for IT people like us would be uh, Microsoft products, uh, Microsoft Windows Server, Windows, uh, you know, Windows 10, that sort of thing. Um, there are a few different options for this. Uh, most notably is the Microsoft Evaluation Center, which I'll put the link down below in the description for you guys. Uh, Microsoft will give you access to pretty much any piece of software that you want on a trial basis for 180 days. After that 180 days, you can issue the rearm command and the trial will uh, rearm or relicense for five more times. Um, if you do all the math out, this factors out to almost three years of usage. Now, obviously, you can't use this in a production environment. And after you've rearmed so many times, it's done. You've got to reinstall it. Um, this should be more than enough time for you to learn uh, whatever you're looking to learn um, and three years stuff changes so rapidly I mean I don't keep stuff the same in my home lab very long um, you know depending upon what I'm what I'm working on um, you know it should be more than enough time for you to learn what you need to learn uh, if you're a student sometimes you can get licensing through your college or university uh, if they have a program set up with Microsoft uh, Microsoft used to have a program called DreamSpark but uh, I believe it was later rebranded to Microsoft Imagine um, those are uh, you have to go through your university to get those uh, if you're looking for something a little more permanent, um, you, can, you can become a Microsoft partner and purchase an Action Pack subscription. Uh, this is a little more complicated uh, because you have to be a Microsoft partner, so you'd have to be set up as a, as a business or a consultant, which if you're an IT consultant, shouldn't be very hard to do that. Uh, and it is expensive. It's roughly $500 a year, uh, the last time I looked anyway. Um, you know, so all in all, if you're looking to learn, the Microsoft Evaluation Center for Microsoft products is probably uh, the best, in my opinion, place to start. That's where I get stuff for my lab when I'm doing these videos, etc. Now, on the virtual virtualization side of things, if you're looking to learn Hyper-V, you can, same thing, the Evaluation Center, uh, you should be able to get that there as well. Um, but if you're a VMware kind of person like myself, uh, VMware has uh, the VMware VMUG Advantage program. It costs roughly $200 a year. Sometimes they'll give you a coupon code so you can get it down to like $180. Um, and you get full access to everything VMware uh, for your home lab. It's a super awesome program. I absolutely love it. It's a great way to uh, to learn VMware products. Uh, I'm a little biased to VMware. I, I That's what I learned on. That's what I started on. I've played with Hyper-V. i just not a Hyper-V guy. Total VMware nut. Um, so totally worth it for somebody like myself who wants to learn VMware and play with VMware and, you know, get all the features that you would in a, in an enterprise environment. You can also get the free, uh, free version of ES ESXi, which for most people would work just as well. Um, those are just two, two sides of the virtualization side of things. There are other virtualization products, but those are the two you're largely probably going to run into in an enterprise environment. Uh, additionally, just to wrap it up, there are lots of vendors out there that give you access to either limited or uh, trial software so you can learn it at home. They, they, kinda, they want you to be champions of their products so that you go into the office and say, hey, Mr. Boss Man or Ms. Boss Lady, uh, I got this cool new product that I'm playing with at home. I'm learning. I think we could Im implement it here. Uh, it'll you know do X, Y, Z. Um, so they do want to give you that little bit of a taste uh, to you know, so you'll go in and try and sell it to your, and you know, your, your environment. So, uh, companies like Splunk, PRTG, uh, those are, they'll give you some limited use free 
versions of their software for you to use and play with. So what do you guys use in your home lab? If you want to know something, leave me a comment below. Um, you know, what kind of software are you using and how are you licensing it? This, these are just some uh, touch points that I have come up with because I've been asked this and I've seen this numerous times. Uh, so I just kind of wanted to go over it and how, how I deal with it. Um, so uh, hopefully you enjoyed uh, this video. If you did, please like and subscribe below. Uh, turn on your post notifications so you can see when I post the latest video. It's the little bell in the corner there. And, uh, you know, thank you very much for watching. And stay tuned for the next uh, IT-related video.